We are at the Silicon Labs booth here at Embedded World 2022, and this is quite an interesting project. This is using one of the EFR uh, series of microcontrollers. It's one of the latest ones, and we'll be talking to Tamas from Silicon Labs in a moment about that. And this is working with uh, Edge Impulse, uh, doing some live object classification. And we'll also be talking to Matt from Edge Impulse about that in a moment as well. So just to get started, um, I am familiar with the uh, EFR32 range of microcontrollers, but this is something quite new and quite special, right? Yes, indeed, this is the latest microcontroller from us, uh, EFR32 MG24 being called. Actually, it can do 15.4 Bluetooth and proprietary protocols. Uh, and as an extra addition, we have a tiny IML accelerator inside, which is a special matrix vector processing unit doing um, uh, matrix vector operations very effectively and fast. And this is how we enable this uh, decent people counting application here. Super, and, uh, and for those who might not be familiar with um, the way that things like uh, Edge AI work, um, essentially, looking on the screen behind us, you can see that this is doing classification in every 100 milliseconds. So um, the, the difference with having a tiny AI coprocessor on board basically means that the MCU can work a lot faster with all of its other tasks. It's much, much faster than not having it, correct? Actually, this uh, subsystem uh, offloads uh, the convolutional neural network computation from the CPU. So while it's doing the inference in that 100 millisecond, the CPU is offloaded that it can do other tasks like sending out a Bluetooth message yeah. uh, or even go back to sleep to save even more power. Yeah, that's, that's, that's really quite impressive. And, um, and as you mentioned before, this is, um, uh, this is very uh, heavily leaned towards uh, Bluetooth. Um, and so would, would the idea here be that this could be something that you could just leave to do edge AI tasks, and then when, it, uh, uh, when it's done classification on the edge, it could use Bluetooth to send data to other things? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. yeah, and I can also demonstrate that because I'm oh, receiving sweet. the Bluetooth messages uh, actually here. So you can see it real time. So whatever you found there, uh, this is our developer app, by the way, mm -hmm. uh, called EFR Connect, where you can okay. easily connect Bluetooth devices. So it's one person found, or, or multiple person found, it's pretty coherent with what you can see there on the serial output or on the screen. And, and, and just to make it clear, uh, in, in case uh, at the very start of this I didn't make it clear, what we have here is a tablet which is being used as an example for a camera in a real space. It just makes it a lot easier. And what you're seeing um, here uh, is actually reflected up on the screen here. And you can see that these are people, uh, it's detecting people in real time. But of course, if you were to uh, deploy this somewhere else, you would deploy it actually in a real space. This is just for, for example. I realized I didn't make that very clear at the start. But how this is all working is all thanks to Edge Impulse. And we've talked about Edge Impulse on Electromaker quite a lot before, it's a way of deploying um, uh, trained neural networks onto very small microcontrollers um, and in very low power environments. And I have Matt from Edge Impulse right here, who's going to walk us through how it's possible to run inference on something as small as a microcontroller, as powerful as it is, that is. But yes, uh, how this, uh, so how is this actually working from the Edge Impulse perspective? From the Edge Impulse perspective, we have created a, a special ML architecture called FOMO. It stands for faster object, more object. It's specially designed for low power uh, devices, very constrained with low, low amount of RAM and uh, very low speed, mm -hmm. where you can easily implement the ML uh, applications to detect object a different kind, train it of, uh, on the few on, on the images and make a pretty high accuracy. Yeah, fantastic, um, and th and this is uh, yeah, this is just another example of how edge AI is kind of becoming a, a bigger and bigger thing because once again we have uh, what is comparatively a very low-powered microcontroller doing uh, edge AI tasks, which is a fantastic thing. Uh, thank you so, uh, thank you both so much for speaking to me today. Have a fantastic time. My pleasure. <laughs>